Security forces faced a gun battle as they freed dozens of hostages, including one government minister being held by suspected Islamist militants. Using explosives and making their way through the main lobby, it's thought around 20 people were killed in the attack and many more injured. A nearby cafe, the Cappuccino, was also targeted. When they left, they set fire to the cappuccino. The smoke started to suffocate me and other survivors. I got out through a broken window. Explosions thought to be car bombs began ringing through the city yesterday evening. Eyewitnesses say a group of masked gunmen shot into the air before storming the four-star hotel, often used by UN staff and Westerners. The guys came and started to shoot. Our country is not for jihadists or terrorists. They are wrong. The West African country, which has recently seen a new president take office, borders with Mali, which saw a similar attack late last year. Two militants killed 20 people at a luxury hotel in the capital Bamako before being killed by the security forces. The French embassy is calling this a terrorist attack and says an overnight curfew is now in place. It's not clear who is behind the shootings yet, but unconfirmed reports suggest al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb is claiming responsibility. Frankie McCamley, BBC News.